All right, well, good day, everyone. Uh, this is my expedition, and uh, I don't have much of a heater. It's uh, lukewarm, and you switch the knob to cold, and it gets cold. So I really think I've got a heater core that's plugged up. And uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and flush this out. And I know a lot of the explorers and the mountaineers have the same issue, but this expedition is set up a little bit different. Um, on this model, you have to uh, go under here and get your hands up under there. And the two hoses I got up, hooked up right now are the hoses I'm gonna flush water into the heater core with, but you gotta get your hands back in there. And this particular Lexan model has these little disconnect uh, hoses on it. You gotta get your finger in there and you gotta release those little tabs. And I think you know what I'm talking about. They have these a lot nowadays. Uh, you push on the sides of the clip and you kind of move this hose back and forth and eventually it'll pull off. And the same with the uh, uh, this one here. Um, there's no way I can show you those disconnect clips because it's up under there quite a way, but trust me, they are there. And when you pull those ho two hoses off, you've got some seals. Slide these off. They go on there like this. You got a rubber seal, then you got this hard seal, then you got a rubber seal. And the same way with the other uh, side, you got a rubber seal, a hard seal and a rubber seal. Make sure you put those back on before you slide your hoses back on and you hear that click. And also when you slide these hoses back on, make sure, kind of make a mental note under there, turn those clips so they line up with the hose, uh, with those holes there in the end of that. And when you push that back on, uh, those will uh, go back on and those rings will seal those hose when you put it back on the heater core. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and flush this out. What I've done, I've, a couple garden hose actually, I worked for that. Uh, when I took off these uh, seals, it just gave me a little more room. That heater core tube sticks out enough to get this uh, hose on there. If you don't take these seals out of there, then there's not really enough room in there for that heater uh, hose, uh, water hose, whatever you wanna use. To slide on that heater core so it makes it a little difficult and of course i've got some clips uh clamps on the end of my hose and i'll show you those when i get done flushing it out so uh, i'm not sure which is in which is out but i know the other night when i was running it one hose coming out of the heater core wasn't very warm at all the other one was steaming hot so i've got a bucket set up down here and i got one hose here to catch whatever comes out and i got this hose here ready i don't have one of those uh flushing kits I'm just gonna take my water hose, which is right there, hold it up here and let it flow through there and watch and see what comes out. But I got a good idea that it's pretty much plugged up because when I took this uh, hose off right here, I saw a bunch of rusty stuff in there. And actually, if you look there, you can see some of it sitting on top of that, top of that there. So that's uh, so what we're gonna do. So let me go in and turn the water on and we'll set the camera up here and you can kind of watch this. All right, I got the water hose here and uh, I'm ready to go ahead and start flushing so you can watch the bottom of that bucket there like I do like I'll watch and we'll see what comes out Well, we definitely have a plugged up heater core. Turn the water down a little bit. The flow. Oh, yeah, I definitely got some stuff out of there. Look at the bottom of that bucket there. Uh, there's something in that heater core, so I'm just going to flush away and we'll see what the end result is. I'm going to keep flushing until the flow uh, looks a lot better. And you can see it there. Starting to look a little bit better, cleaner, clearer, and flowing better. Yeah, you can see there's something in that heater core. So that's certainly good. Uh, I'll keep flushing away here, then when I get done, we'll come back and uh, maybe just hook the hoses up on it and stuff. And I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is do a reverse flow real quick reverse flush 
and uh, we'll see how that uh, what that does. All right, I reverse flushed it, and boy, look at the stuff that came out. So that flow now is a lot better when I hook that hose up. I set the camera up here, zoom back a little bit. You can see how good the water comes out of that hose now, and that is the, uh, the reverse flush. So it comes out really good now. Before it wasn't. Now it's coming out really good. I think I've got it unplugged now. Much better. Much better. So there's another look at the bucket. A lot of stuff in there. More than I thought it would be actually. All right, let me uh, take the camera off the tripod now. And I'm gonna show you my setup here, how I had it set up. I got a couple, like a couple of hoses. This one, I just have a clamp on it just to kind of snug it on there. And the same way for this one, I just kind of stuck a clamp on there just to kind of help it out. Kind of a poor man's version, but hey, it's whatever works, right? So now, uh, all, all I gotta do is put these seals back on and shove my hoses on and that's, that's all you gotta do. And that's one way uh, you can flush out your heater core before you go out and buy one and rip the one that's out. Most cases I have found out if your heater core is plugged up and it's not leaking and you're not getting much heat, usually flushing it out a couple of times will work. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna hook my hoses back up. I'm gonna put a little detergent in there and flush it through there one more time. Just uh, give it one more last final uh, flush. And we'll hook the hoses up and we'll see what happens. So uh, hopefully this will work. All right, now I'm gonna stick it back together. I did one more flush and there's the uh, soap that I had in it. And uh, it flows really good. And actually when I put the soap in, if you notice, there's some more stuff that came out. It looks like, uh, I don't know, more rust, but it's coming out. So I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back together and we'll see how much uh, heat we got in there now and hopefully that'll take care of it. Now on this expedition, I am putting the uh, seals back on. Uh, make sure they're not torn. Double check them and inspect them. And uh, I'll stick them on there. I got one hose on already. It went on real easy. It clipped on and this one here will go on next. And we'll put antifreeze in it and start it up. So uh, I'm pretty happy. I think it's going to be okay now. Should I have heat? And you can see, <laughs> pretty amazing all the stuff that was in there. All right, guys, a uh, little update. What a difference. Uh, that flush made just an amazing difference. I've got really good heat now. And my temperature gauge is uh, not quite up in the middle. But... But it's working really good, so I'm happy. So uh, I'm going to drive it a while, probably a week or two. Then I actually, since I found those hoses out there and they're pretty easy to disconnect, I may actually just flush it out one more time just a little bit later. Just, uh, you know, never hurts, but oh yeah, it's uh, a lot different. I wish I had a thermometer, but uh, much better. So uh, hopefully this will help you guys out. And uh, like I said, if, uh, if you have to flush it a second time, it won't be that bad because those hoses are pretty easy to uh, disconnect and slide off and all that. And uh, make sure you check your fluid too. Uh, make sure your antifreeze is full. And uh, hopefully they'll take care of your heating problems. So there's one more look at it. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, stay warm because winter is coming.